Chapter 35 I Am an Alchemist Hearing the name Tang Hao, Tang Shusan's expression froze, and it took a few seconds for him to relax. Sure enough, you are related to Tang Hao. Nye Tian deduced from Tang Shusan's expression that the latter must have a relationship with Tang Hao, and they are very close. Judging from their age, they should be a father and son or grandson. What do you want with Tang Hao? Tang Shusan reacted and immediately became very cautious, asking. It's nothing serious, just say hello to an old friend. Nye Tian smiled with a calm expression. Tang Hao is Nye Tian's direct disciple. If Tang Hao is found, Nye Tian's resurgence will be greatly accelerated. Nye Tian reckoned that after Emperor Chen Hun and Luo Zian killed him, his soldiers and direct disciples would also be hunted down. I don't know how many of the nine direct disciples are left. Thinking of this, Nye Tian couldn't help sighing. Judging from Tang Shusan's reaction, Tang Hao should still be alive. How is it? Will you promise to help me find someone? Seeing that Tang Shusan was still thinking, Nye Tian urged. Tang Shusan looked at Nye Tian and made up his mind after a long time. He nodded and said, Okay, I promise you. Okay, it's a deal. Nye Tian smiled gratifiedly. By the way, I still want to know, when will the people from the Blood Bat sect attack? Nye Tian asked again. Tang Shusan replied, the night after the Mojang City Martial Arts meeting, first destroy the City Lord's Mansion, and then destroy the Nye family. After finishing speaking, Tang Shusan moved his body and turned it into an afterimage, which disappeared in an instant. Young man, don't forget our agreement. Nye Tian did not forget to remind Tang Shusan. I, Tang Shusan, will do what I say. Tang Shusan's voice came from afar. Tang Shusan, good name. Nye Tian smiled slightly. If Tang Hao can be found through Tang Shusan, it will be of great help to Nye Tian. Tang Shusan, why did you appear in the Blood Bat sect? Nye Tian was very curious about how could Tang Hao's descendants be involved in an organization like the Blood Bat sect. These issues are not Nye Tian's primary consideration. The most difficult issue now is how to deal with the Blood Bat Gate. The 36th subaltar of the Blood Bat sect is almost full this time. An altar master with five levels of strength in Vientian, plus 30 or 40 yuan underscore spirit powerhouses, it is estimated that there are not so many multi-spiritual powerhouses in the entire Mojang city. Go to Emotai first and let him know about this matter. Nye Tian stopped thinking about it, and after leaving the Laiyun Mountain Range, he went straight to Mojang City. The Blood Bat sect came aggressively, obviously aiming at Mojang City. At this time, only Mo Tai could stand up and unify the power of Mojang City. Could it be possible to contend with the Blood Bat sect? Tang Shusan is a variable and may become a life-saving pawn at a critical moment. Half an hour later, Nye Tian arrived at the City Lord's Mansion. The guards of the City Lord's Mansion recognized Nye Tian and did not stop him. Nye Tian came directly to the meeting hall, and after a while, Nye Tai appeared. Nephew Nye Tian, I haven't seen you for a long time, and your strength has improved a lot. Emo Tai's face was flushed with a bright smile, and he was obviously in a good mood. After Emo Rushi's Yuanling awakened, it took several days to stabilize the Yuanling. Now it has the second level of Yuanling strength. Even the few warriors of the third level of Yuanling in the City Lord's Mansion are not Emo Rushi's opponents. Emo Tai can't be happy. Nye Tian, where have you been these days? When Emo Rushi heard the news that Nye Tian had come to the City Lord's Mansion, he immediately gave up his cultivation and rushed over. Nye Tian looked at the furious Emo Rushi, smiled, and said, I've been practicing at the manor, and I haven't gone anywhere. You liar, I went to Nye Mansion to look for you many times, but you were not here. Emo Rushi scolded softly, suddenly realizing that she said something that shouldn't be said, and couldn't help but blushed. You have looked for me many times? Nye Tian smiled happily and said, I miss me so much. Bah! Emo Rushi blushed, even more, stomped her feet, and said, This lady will never miss you, a shameless person. 
It's fine if you don't want to. Nye Tian chuckled and said, but I miss you every day. You, shameless. Emo Rushi was angry on the face, but inexplicably happy in her heart. Ahem. Emo Tai couldn't stand it anymore, coughed dryly, looked at Nye Tian, and said, Patriarch Nye, do you have something to do with the city master? Nye Tian quickly became serious and said, there is something important. As Nye Tian said, he glanced at Emo Rushi, he didn't want Emo Rushi to know about the blood bat sect. Emo Tai saw what Nye Tian meant and said to Emo Rushi with a smile, Rushi, I have something to discuss with Patriarch Nye, you should avoid it for a while. Emo Rushi Bing Shiwe was smart and she also saw that Nye Tian didn't want her to stay. Immediately, the eldest lady became angry, walked over, sat down next to Nye Tian, and said, Nye Tian, you want me to avoid you, I prefer to avoid you. Don't avoid it, let's see what you can do to me. Emo Rushi looked very proud as she spoke, her snow-white chin raised, revealing her fair and slender neck, like a proud white swan. Nye Tian couldn't help but look at Emo Tai. Emo Tai had no choice but to say, if Rushi wants to stay, then she can stay, and if Patriarch Nye has anything to say, just say it. What kind of patriarch? You're not a brat my age. Emo Rushi pouted her lips with dissatisfaction. Nye Tian was speechless and said, Master Emo, you asked me to say this, don't regret it. Emo Tai didn't want Emo Rushi to be involved in the matter of the blood bat sect. If Nye Tian said anything, Emo Rushi would know. Tell me. Emo Tai nodded. Nye Tian stopped hesitating and immediately explained the matter of the Blood Bat Sect and finally added, the Blood Bat Sect came to Mojang City this time to help the Ba family take down Moyang City and their primary goal is the city lord government. After Nye Tian finished speaking, Emo Tai and Emo Rushi were shocked and did not speak for a long time. The Blood Bat Gate attacked in a big way and the first target was to come to the city lord's mansion, which caught Emo Tai by surprise. Nye Tian told him about the blood bat sect before, but after more than ten days, there was no movement at all. Emo Tai thought that the three people killed by the blood bat sect just appeared by chance. Now that Nye Tian told him that the blood bat gate was coming towards the city lord's mansion, Emo Tai couldn't accept it for a while. Nye Tian, is what you said true? After a while, Emo Tai calmed down, still doubting what Nye Tian said. Nye Tian said seriously, every word I said is true. People from the Blood Bad Gate will enter the city tonight, and City Lord Emo can guard the gate at night, and you will find something abnormal. Father, what should we do? Emo Rushi asked suddenly, she firmly believed in Nye Tian's words. Although Emo Rushi didn't know what kind of organization the Blood Bat Sect was, the people from the Blood Bat Sect killed Nye Tian's father and Nye's family members three years ago. From this, it can be seen that the Blood Bat Sect is not a benevolent organization. Emo Tai remained silent as if he was thinking about something. Suddenly, Emo Tai raised his head, looked at Nye Tian, and said, What do you think? The strength of the Blood Bat Sect was too strong. Emo Tai didn't know what to do for a while. Instinctively, he felt that Nye Tian would have a good way. Nye Tian glanced at Emo Tai and said, If I were the city lord, the best way to deal with it at this time would be to unite all the Yuanling warriors in Mojang City and lay an ambush in the city lord's mansion, waiting for the people from the Blood Bat sect to attack. Come here and catch them off guard. Emo Tai nodded deeply and said, all the Yuanling warriors in Mojang City, excluding the Ba family, there are only 20 people at most. But the Blood Bat Sect has a full 40 Yuanling warriors, and there is also a Vientian 5 the powerful are in charge, and their combat power is twice as high as that of Mojang City. Even if we succeed in ambush, we can't be the opponent of the Blood Bat Sect. Nye Tian nodded. What Emo Tai said was quite right. People from the Blood Bat Sect plus those from the Ba family had more than 40 Yuanling warriors, and the most terrifying thing was that there was also a fifth layer Vientian expert. Just this altar master with five levels of strength in Vientian, combined with the strength of Emo Tai and Ye Wen Yuan, may not be his opponent. 
Mo Tai has the third level of strength in Vientian, and Ye Wen Yuan has the first level of strength in Vientian, which is far behind the master of the Blood Bat sect. You must know that when a warrior reaches the Myriad Conditions realm, the difference in the strength of each level is very obvious. After thinking for a while, Ye Tian suddenly said, City Master Mo, I have a solution, but it requires you to pay a little price. Are you willing? Say it. Mo Tai didn't hesitate. Nye Tian paused for a moment and said, I can refine some explosive Yuan pills to temporarily increase your strength to the fourth or even fifth level of Vientian. In this way, you can compete with that altar master. If you let Nye win Yuan when people also take the explosive Yuan pill, our chances of winning will be greatly increased. Explosive Yuan pill? Mo Tai was stunned for a moment and said, As far as I know, Explosive Yuan Pill is a second-order panacea. Can you refine it? Refining Tier 2 Spirit Pills, that is already a Tier 2 alchemist, whose status is much nobler than that of ordinary warriors. Nye Tian looked like a fool. No matter how he looked at it, he couldn't be compared with a noble alchemist. Alchemists, a special kind of existence among warriors. An alchemist's combat strength is average, but an alchemist's influence is very extraordinary. A martial artist needs to take a lot of spiritual pills to practice, so alchemists have become the noblest existence. But it is very difficult to become an alchemist. Because the threshold for alchemists is very high. Ordinary warriors want to become alchemists. They must have a stronger spirit than ordinary people, extraordinary perseverance, and extraordinary understanding. In addition, one must have a super perception ability of various medicinal materials, the ability to control fire, and a mental power far beyond ordinary people. Among all conditions, mental power is crucial. Therefore, an alchemist is a one in a million existence. A tier one alchemist has a much higher status than a Vientian warrior. Because of this, Mo Tai was so surprised when Ye Tian said that he could refine explosive Yuan pill. Nye Tian smiled faintly, raised his head slightly, and said to himself, Just give me a pair of alchemy cauldrons, and give me enough medicinal ingredients, as much as I need to explode the primordial pills. Nye Tian was a rank 9 alchemy emperor in his previous life. After his rebirth, his mental strength dropped a lot, but he was still at rank 40, comparable to a rank 4 alchemist. An alchemist does not have high requirements for the martial artist's strength. The most important thing is spiritual power. So now Nye Tian, as long as there are enough medicinal materials and the alchemy cauldron is good enough, can refine the fourth order panacea. Are you an alchemist? Seeing that Nye Tian spoke seriously, Mo Tai was astonished. After seeing Nye Tian arranging the spirit array casually, Mo Tai's opinion of Nye Tian improved again. I'm an alchemist. Nye Tian nodded heavily. Mo Rushi looked at Nye Tian and smiled gratifiedly, but she wasn't surprised at all. Ever since Nye Tian helped her awaken the spirit, Mo Rushi was not surprised by anything that happened to Nye Tian. The city lord's mansion just happens to have a danding. I'll send someone to look for any medicinal materials you need. Mo Tai was a little excited, feeling quite a turn of events. Nye Tian didn't talk nonsense, got a pen and paper, and quickly wrote down the medicinal materials he needed. Explosive Yuan Pill is a second-order panacea, and there are many alchemy workshops. Nye Tian chose the simplest one. After all, Mojang City is a small place, and it is impossible to find higher-level medicinal materials. Mo Tai took the alchemy room and immediately sent people to the city to search for medicinal materials.